Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Monday, October 17th, 2022. Number one, just days after what is expected to be the only political debate between U.S. Senate candidates, Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker, Georgia's citizens head to the polls Monday for early voting. This race is regarded as a key election that could determine the shift of power in the U.S. Senate. The campaigns of Warnock and Walker were described as a statistic statistical dead heat, 47% for Warnock to Walker's 44% plus or minus 3% before Friday night's highly anticipated debate held in Savannah, Georgia. Number two, the United States Supreme Court, composed of three Trump appointees, rejected a request from Donald Trump's attorneys to step in to address the FBI search of the former president's Florida home. The justices did not comment on turning away Trump's emergency appeal. The Trump legal team asked the justices to overturn a lower court ruling and permit an independent arbiter or special master to review the roughly 100 documents with classified markings that were taken in the August eighth search. Number three, Germany's health minister Friday urged the country's 16 states to consider stepping up their measures against the coronavirus amid an increase in new cases. Health Minister Karl Lauterbach said he favors requiring mask wearing indoors, a measure that is largely faded in Germany except on public transportation, in medical facilities, and in care homes. Lauterbach told reporters in Berlin that it would be better for states to impose limited restrictions now than stricter ones later. Number four, Lavelle Naja Lane, a 29-year-old black man, died at Spartanburg County Detention Center October 3rd at 5.04 a.m. Now his family is demanding details surrounding his death and requesting video footage of Lane in custody. The Spartanburg County Coroner, Rusty Clevenger's office said an investigation is pending with the State Law Enforcement Division. On October 5th, Lane's family held a press conference in front of the detention center and were joined by their attorney and members of the National Racial Justice Network. Number five, in the Christian world, there is what we call a spiritual calling. That's when you feel so connected to your life's work, you know that connection had to come from God and the calling that he has on your life. Your calling is usually closely tied to something you love and enjoy. So if you're operating in a space and you're not happy, that's probably not your calling. Find out signs you are operating in your calling in today's What You Need to Know newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. You don't have to always keep it real, but you can always keep it nice. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedians Chris Paul and Huggy Lowdown, social justice activist Coy Malone, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Black Voters Matter and HBCU Go TV. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.